Welcome to my bar class. Again, I'm, my name is Charity and hopefully you have collected the equipment that is in the description section of this particular class. And that includes your water. Make sure you're drinking lots of water today, wherever you're at, because it is starting to be a little warmer here at the summertime. Make sure we stay hydrated. Okay, so we're gonna just start with our warm up. I'm gonna tilt the screen. Hopefully I can step back. Far enough. There we go. Okay, perfect. So we're just gonna start arms up by the ears in a chair sit pose. So slightly bend the knees, chair sit pose, arms around the ears. So you're right here, and you need a little pulse, okay? Ten, nine, eight, seven, five, four, three. Two, one. All right, step the right foot forward and we reach forward through the middle and pull back. So from the side, we reach and pull. Reach, pull. Good. Now, all 10 toes, of course, facing forward. We've talked about that before. Two more. One, and I want you to scoop down low and come up. Meet me at the middle right there. Four, we go three, two, one, and I want you to reach up high, stretch the rib cage, separate that rib cage. All right, now let's put it all together. Go down low, center, reach, middle. Low, center, reach, middle. Keep going. Low, center, Reach, middle, low, center, reach, middle, pick it up, center, reach, middle, two, center, reach, middle, one, back to that chair sit pose, come right to it, and pulse. Five, four, three, two, one, come to the middle, Left foot in front, middle, back, middle, back. So we switch the feet, 10 toes forward, extend through the arms, five, four, three, press, two, press, one, scoop low all the way down, middle, down and middle. Three, middle, two, one, reach up to the sky, separate, don't flare your back to stick your booty out, just reach up, three, two, one, put it all together, down low, reach, middle, up, high, down, middle, low, middle, high, middle, low, middle, high, middle, keep going. Middle, low, high, two, one. Chair sit, come to the middle and pulse. Pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Right here, side lunge. So join me. I'm stepping out with my right. You can be your left. We're gonna hit both sides. Don't worry. Side step. So if this is all you have. That's fine. I'm doing a little bit bigger range of motion. Maybe not as big as you. So we're all warming up. Different levels, right? Progressing from our personal level. Two more. One more. We go to the other side right away. Lunge, come center. Lunge, load it. Push your hips back. If you're low enough. Four, three, two, and we're gonna start a step touch 
right to left. Step, touch, step, touch. Back to me. Our arms. Adding in. Three, two, watching the arms. And one. Reach overhead. Start for you to change a little bit too. But again, make it yours. Play with the moves. Three. Watch the arms. You're going to change it to one. One, reach across. Push, push. Really extend through. Push that door closed. Push the grocery card. <laughs> Give it a big shout. Three, two, watch the arms. Now walk, so we're gonna combine. Up, up, level, level. Up, up, level, level. Keep going. Four more after this, here we go. Four, three, One, push, push. We go into plie, squats, out, squat. So side step, step behind, down low, do it again. Side step, step behind, down low, side, behind, squat. Let's make it fluid. Step, step, step. Now again, how deep you go in that curtsy, in that plie. We'll call it a curtsy squat, because that's what it is. <laughs> How low you go is up to you, all right? If you don't go as low, or if you're going lower than my nice white legs, great. Play with the arms, nice toe back, up, head to the ceiling. Bend from the knees, let that back nice and straight, down your wall. So I'm gonna hold it on my right side, Right now, and pulse up, pulse up again. Play with your arms. Here's my two. One fourth position. Is that fourth? I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. It's been that long. Three, up, two, up, one, up, tendu, other side, and down, up on the same side. Down, up, down, up. Keep on going. Down, up, go, three, up, go, two, up, one, up. Beautiful, walk it out. Grab a drink if you need it. Like I said, it's hot here already, okay? So step back a little bit. All right, so here's where you need your chair handy, maybe even your wall. Keep walking, keep moving. Keep moving. Just because <laughs> I get to step out for a moment doesn't mean you do. Okay, so we're going to get into our mount, and I'll show you what that means if you've forgotten. And then we're going to do some floor warm ups. Okay? So we get that out of the way. Into our mount which means you're going to bend over from standing position and walk four times out with your hand. One, two, Three, four, you'll be in plank position. I will show you a modification. All right? And just tap in. 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 So it looks like a high knee march on the floor. Now, if this is not for you, you want a different option, keep going if that works for you. I want you to bring yourself to a chair. Do the same thing that way. And this is usually my choice because I'm old enough to have a few injuries. Shoulder injuries under my belt. Now, so if you want a, another option, it's there for you. You just go to your wall. Make sure your body is still tilted so there is weight in your arms. Both legs will be back. Body will be a straight, not a straight board, excuse me. Body will be a board of wood, straight, but an at an angle. So you're still going, right? Even though I've taken a moment to step to the camera. 
and give a few options, okay? That's what I want you to keep in mind. Unfortunately, this is not an all visual class. <laughs> I have to provide modifications, but I want you to keep moving, okay? So we go eight, seven, pick it up, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, two, one, good. Stand up best you can from whatever position you're in. And then hit that chair pose. Go back to the beginning on that. And then pulse. 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 Do you want to add a breath? Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Keep going. Breathe out. Breathe in. One more time. In. We're going to inchworm back out. If you're on the floor, chair or wall, if those are your poison. And we're going to step one, two, three, four, plank position, go to spider. Okay? Spider man. Tap it down. Spider. Tap it down. Spider. Tap it down. Now, you can do this on the chair. Easy peasy. If you're on the wall, I'm going to turn my back to you for a moment so you get a good picture of the wall. You're just going to kind of tap out. You can lift that leg. I'll show you two ways. So slant it on the wall. You can lift, lift, or just tap, tap. Okay, again, I was leaning on the wall. Warm up for the arm, that's important. Here we go. 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, hold the knee up. Try to touch your ear. <laughs> Five. Four, three, two, turn this head, one, fill it in the corner, and then walk it up the best you can, hit that chair position, or you're just going to take a deep breath, chair, you have options, you have 30 seconds, about, all right, Last move on the floor. And we're going to do a frontal twist. So when we're on our clip, keep moving. <laughs> Guess I didn't say so, right? Keep moving. <laughs> so we're going to take it to a twist. When you're on the floor um, or on a chair or even on a wall, it'll look like this. You'll be in your hands, hands locked in position. Your knee will come in and twist. Tap it down. In and twist, kind of comes across. Okay, so if you haven't started already, if you don't know an option, let me know because I just told you three, and if that's not working for you, I need to know. So you leave me a little comment, okay? Be specific. Give me a time stamp. Two more. One more. And bring out a child's pose. Or maybe you're just standing with a stretch, and that's fine too. Here we go. Time to warm up. Get down to business. And set this out of the way. I'm going to take a very quick look at my notes. <laughs> so I'm going to bring my notes over here. A pretty long week, so I think I need my notes. Okay, march with me as I walk you through this first move. Jump in as soon as you can. Let's just get going, okay? So we're in first position. Toes turned out naturally. We turn from the hips, not just the knee, and we squat up, squat up again. How open that window is? Whew. It's up to you. It'll probably be slower if you're going deeper. That's okay. You're trading off endurance for a little muscle tone, okay? What do you need to work on today? Now, for those of us who want maybe more of an option, we're going to relevate up on those toes, balls of the feet, make sure you're nice and stabilized, go through the core, same deal, squats, relevate, doing squats, okay? So we go eight, full range of motion, seven, Six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Now watch, so we're gonna travel with it. So we're gonna step to the right, walk up. So you can do know that quite right. Let me do it more fluid. Because when you step out to the side, you actually squat down. Be a little better. <laughs> squat down. Again, you don't have to be on your toes. Just sidestep it. Squat. Try to turn your toes, toes out a little bit. But don't stress your knees up. Okay? I'm going to go back to releve. We're going to do four to each side. Four. Up. Three. Up. Three. Two. Two. One. One, you're back in that releve first position, or you're on the floor, and you're going to go down and pulse, 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 pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, play with the arms, three, two, hold it on halfway, hold it, tuck your pelvis under, so keep holding. We want this and not this. <laughs> That's ugly, right? Halfway, halfway, a little deeper. Three, two, one. Come up and nice and slow. And again, you could have done that one really big. Hopefully, I'm being clear with those options. Okay? So now we go to cardio. And with cardio, I always give you three options. Keep walking. You can go to speed, range of motion, or plyometrics. Plyometrics means... At least for this class, maybe with all, <laughs> we need to do it with the jump. Okay, so we've got our speed. Okay, range of motion. Again, you can do this on releve with plyometrics. You step out a little bit, and you actually give me a little ballet jump to the center and land out to the end. So 30 seconds, maybe 20. <laughs> Three, two, one. How do you do a plyometrics? Because, you know, I'm just trying to torture myself this morning. But also, I want you to see that you can take a little pause in the middle, load it up, squeeze, and tap. Now, you don't have to do that. You have your speed motion. And you have your range of motion. Whatever you're doing, 10 more seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. March it out, get a drink, turn on your air conditioner. Turn on that at least wait till my class is over to turn on my air conditioner. I tell you, I don't think we're going to make it. I've got the lights on so you can see me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying. It's like pennies in the bucket. All right? Okay, we switch to arms. Let me do a quick check of what time it is. Okay, we're about 30 minutes. That's good. <laughs> That's the halfway point. Grab your chair. Okay. Tricep hold. Now, I do these on the chair, but again, you can do it on the floor, or you can do it on the wall. Same dealio as the warm-up, okay? So, tricep push-up, a little different than our traditional push-up. Traditional push-up would be arms out wide. Can you picture yourself on the floor doing a push-up? Yes? Squeezing our abdominals. The only difference is our arms come in. You can see my bicep come down to my rib cage. And I keep my body right here. I extend this way. Okay, how deep you go again is up to you. Got a little booty in the back. A little guy with me. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I say things like that. Tell me because I'm by myself in front of a camera, and I think no one's watching. All right. <laughs> so you're on the floor, or you're on the wall, or you're on the chair. So bend down, push up. We're going to do 10 of these, and then we're going to do that static hold, as promised. You got seven more. And up. Six. Up. Five. Up. 
four, up, three, neck in line with your spine. Okay, hold the one, throw in 10. Now, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, push it up. Get it back, stretch it out. You can be child's toes on the floor, or you can have your hands on the wall, dragging down. That's still the same stretch to the arms. Come on up. Whew. Believe it or not, we're going to do that one more time. I added that. Not just now, but we're doing it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, let's go. Let's get it over with. Well, this time we're going to re do the reverse. So we'll static hold first, and then we'll do little pulses. So static hold. It is good. So try to come down. Do a hold. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and pulse. Pulse. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push it up. Straight step. Good. Get rid of that chair. I think. Um, maybe keep it close by because you will want it for a stabilizer once in a while. I've been about that. Perfect. So I'm gonna see my nuts. All right, next next move. Yep, yeah, I was right. <laughs> this next move, you're gonna need your towel. Okay. So just to refresh, there's a few ways to fold this for this class. Forget we have a big towel. Fold it once like a hot dog. And I find for this next move, that's all you need to do. Okay? So roll it up. Roll, roll, roll. Okay. So I'm going to show you without the towel, and then I'm going to add in the towel. Hopefully. I forgot the other day. But if you by nature have been doing a lot, I'll remember. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do a staggered stance. So, and jump in as soon as you get the move. Don't stand there and watch me too long. Staggered stance. And we're just going to bend and up. Bend and up. Okay? Option. First option, I want you to try a releve. The whole move. We come down and up. Down and up. Another option. Here it is. Tap. Just slightly above your kneecaps. Now you're still doing a st staggered stance and it is possible with a towel. And I'm gonna do mine with a towel on releve. Keeping my chair close by because maybe once in a while I wanna just make sure the earth is still there. There it is. And up, down, and up. Again, play with the arms. When you shift your arms around, you change where the center is on your core. And changing the center changes the focus of what's being worked. And that's not bad. So I'm going to lose my towel, which means I need to squeeze my legs more. Keep going. And up. Down. And up. Down. One more. We go half range of motion. So I want you to go halfway down. All the way up. Half. Up. Half. Up. Seven. Up. Four, <laughs> three, up, two, up, one, pulse it. Go halfway down, pulse, 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 pulse. Five, four, three, get down as low as you can and hold it. Static hold. Ten, nine, eight, a little slower on the count, I know. Six, five, four, Three, lower, 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 two, one, now, come up, slow, we call that molasses, right? And walk it for a minute. Whew. Okay, we're going to do the other side. I just have to wipe my head. Good thing this is my grossest towel ever. Okay, so my right leg is going to be in front. Your opposite leg, whatever that is, okay? On your feet, real bay, with or without a towel. There's lots of combinations, all right? So, and this is obviously my weaker side. Everybody has one. Five, down, up. 
I'm gonna look past the computer for a minute because I need to spot my wall. <laughs> I was spotting myself on the computer screen and I was like, that's not a good idea. This is a moving object. <laughs> Obviously. All right, four more. Up, three, up, two, up, one. Now, halfway down, all the way up. Half, up, half. Up, half, up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to pulse it, so go halfway down. We're nice and low for you. Here we go. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Get down nice and low. We're going to static hold. Go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, lower, 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 and slow on the up, slow, 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 whoop, and up, beautiful. All right, cardio, we're already there. Cardio for this move is a power lunge, all right? called lots of things, I'm gonna call it a power lunge. So it would be here, jump and switch. Are starting with your plyo. That's your plyo move. Remember, we have plyo, speed, range of motion. So that was your plyo with a jump. Speed, you can just tap back if you want. Minimal jump, there might be little barrels in there, or not, depending on where you're at, or range of motion. Very similar, it's a little slower through the Transition, but you're utilizing your arms to get your heart rate up. Three, two, one, 20 seconds. Go! Go, go, you can do it. Don't fall. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Good. Here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. All right, pull that chair back over. We're going back to tricep hold. Again, feel free to get some water. I really, really, really hate being hot. <laughs> so, not looking forward to what is now going to be the next three months in Utah. Usually I survive by just living in my bathing suit. <laughs> but from the pandemic, I don't think I'm going to be going on the pool right away. So maybe I'll just have to stand under my hose all summer. I don't know. <laughs> Why don't, if you have plans, ways to survive the heat, please write that in the comments box because I'm struggling. Let's get those chairs. Let's get this over with. Let's make some mistakes. That's my favorite quote from one of the best instructors. He always starts with us. Let's go. Let's make some mistakes. Right? So, again, try some uh, static pulls. We know this. We do 10 push ups first. Make them small, control, flat back, chair, floor, or wall. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it. 10. Now, don't sag your middle, nice and flat. Legs tight, legs touching. Five, four, three, two, one. Step it up, up, breathe. Do that one more time, I look like a bird, but I don't care. <laughs> Who cares, right? And if you just want your chair pulse, that's fine to stay warm. If you have something else in mind to stay warm, Great, we're hitting the chair again. This time we'll stand up, hold. Then we pulse for 10. Let's go. Bring it down. Three, two, one. Now, stand up, hold. Bend your elbow, elbow slightly. Four, three, two, pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop it. Step it, breathe. Get rid of the chair. Actually, 
I lie, just turn it around. <laughs> I'm teaching, I have the right to do that, right? Just change my mind, do it on. All right. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do side line series. I love this one. Gets you right there in your nipples. Those nipples, folks. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, I want you to slightly turn out your supporting leg, slightly, okay? There's gonna be a micro bend, so a small bend in that leg. Laces are forward on the extended leg. You lift up and down. So, laces forward. And we stand tall, we do not lean, okay? Micro bend in this leg, that'll activate your muscles a little more than if you were to stand straight. Laces four, do not turn out that toe. Four, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, one. Now go halfway and go all the way up. Half, up, eight, seven. Five, four, three, two, one. Now for our pulse, it's gonna be this leg. Pulse, pulse. If that is too much, switch it. Okay? Pulse. I know some of us have arthritis, knee problems. We can listen to your body. Three, two, one. Inch higher, hold it. Micro bend. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, tall, don't collapse over. Three, two, one. Come down nice and slow and work out that extended leg or the leg that was extended. We're going to a shift. I haven't placed my leg down yet. That's what I'm trying for. A shift is an avocado masher. I turn from my hip, I rotate out. So now you're allowed to rotate. Okay, but I don't want you to just grab the heck out of that chair. Micro bend, bash. Match, match, match. Do not rotate your body so much that you end up facing the chair like that. Okay, hip, 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 hip. Do the twist. Five, four, three, two, one, up. All right, now I'm gonna work out this leg. Okay, so for some reason, the avocado masher <laughs> really works my supporting leg. And I'm okay with that. As long as they do it on both sides, right? Don't want to walk away lop lopsided. So let's hit it quick. Slight turn out, micro bend, shoelaces forward, not up, okay? And we lift, lower. Now, if you're lifting so high, holy cow, I can feel that. <laughs> if you're lifting so high that you are pushing yourself over your chair, you need to lower your range of motion a little bit, okay? Up, down, up, down. Because if you give in, Nothing's happening right here. You don't want stuff happening right here. Doesn't matter how hot. Up, down. This is not a dance class. We're not trying to show off flexibility. We want muscle tone. Five, four, three, two, one. Halfway up. All the way up. Half, up, eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse, pulse, eight, seven, or you're right here. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Don't put that foot down. Don't do it. Just rotate through. One more time. Don't put it down. Don't put it down. Extend through. We've got an avocado measure. Twist up. Twist up. Slide bend right here. All right. My avocado measure is looking a little weird. Four. There we go. Three, two, Two, one. All right, now work that out any way you want. I like a nice hip roll. Or sometimes I just pop my hip, give it a pose, really put some stretch through this hip flexor. And we'll go to, yeah, we we'll go to the other side. Oh my goodness. Woo, that feels so good, right? All right, keep it warm. Okay. I know you're sad, but there's no cardio on that one. I haven't thought of one yet. But I don't want to rev up your heart rate. Uh, sorry, let me start over. I don't want to really want to rev up your heart rate again because we're about to hit the floor on some um, 
to crunches, okay? So, tap it side to side. You should be a little cooler than when we were doing cardio, but not cooled down. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so I just want you to get everything close by, okay? And to be honest, I'm not sure if we're gonna use all of it. <laughs> I always have so much planned and then we don't get to it all. But better to have more than less, I say. That's with food too, right? Okay, so I've got my weights, I've got my cans of food. Sorry, those are the same thing. <laughs> got my weights, last cans of food, my chair, my gliding desk, of course my water, my mat, and my top. Oh my gosh, everything for the kitchen sink, right? We are ready. Let me check the time. Oh good, we're doing so good. Okay, we have lots of time for court. Let's start with a little bit of arms and we'll go right into court. So I'm gonna give you an option here. You can stand, and this is for people who feel like if I take you to the sitting position, which I'm about to, they won't sit up straight, okay? So if you feel like when you sit down, you're just gonna let everything go, I want you to stay standing, got it? I have like a million years of dance training, so I'm gonna hit the floor. I trust myself. <laughs> okay, so next you can be on your knees. If that is too much, maybe you have pain in your knees or you just want a different option. Now you can take it to crisscross applesauce if you promise me to sit up on your sit bones. Okay, this is not on your sit bones. You're actually gonna lift your bell on the floor and pull your bone out and kind of do that, <laughs> okay? So now I'm sitting more on this than here, all right? Choose your poison, let's get started. I'm gonna go to knees, I haven't done this before, but I'm up right here. You're also welcome to here, but we're gonna start taking it out and in with our cans of food. If you didn't see what position I just hit, then I want you to take your cans directly in front of you, so you keep going if you've got it, okay? If you don't, hands directly in front of you, arms are in a letter L, and just open just a little bit. Now make sure your bicep is not resting on your ribcage. It's not a resting position. Lift away a little bit. Now if you didn't need all that instruction, you were moving, right, the whole time. I can't stress that enough. Okay, that's what I found was a little, uh, Difficult, I guess, lack of a better word, with these live classes. All I see is me. I've got to provide lots of modification, and I just hope that you find one and you latch onto it and you keep going while I'm talking through cues and showing modifications, okay? So you gotta promise me that you're still moving out there. Don't take a break. Be aware if you're a visual learner. Hold it out and pulse, 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 pulse. Go 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it on the out. Hold it and slow down. Put those weights down. Roll your shoulders out. Let's start in supine position. That's our boat pose. Or I'm going to give you options. Don't worry. So supine position. Chest facing the ceiling. You can start out right here, full pose, okay? The way to intensify the move is to recline it, okay? Now, this is where I like to use my towel. So I unroll it real quick. I wanna make it a little thicker, so I fold it in half again. This is optional to use a towel, but don't not use it because you think you're tougher because I have been building so much more core by using the towel because it makes me direct or focus up on what exactly I'm trying to build. I don't know if that makes sense, but the towel helps me get away from the pain of the move and um, align myself correctly. So I'm working the body parts I'm trying to. So the towel is not a crutch, believe me, okay? So we're right here. You can stay here. Let's do palms up. You recline. And up. 
recline and up. Now, if you want another option, you can try and do it with legs lifted. Okay, but make sure your calves, your shins are parallel to the ceiling. That's what you're fighting for. So you gotta be right here, guys. All right, not here. But I'm going back down because I'm feeling it plenty and I don't want to compromise my back just so I can look tough. It's not worth it. I mean, really, you're at home alone. I'm the one on camera. <laughs> Here we go. Now I want you to extend both arms. Woo, do you feel that? Come back. Okay, that lengthening, making yourself an arm's length longer really works right here. So let's do 10 more. 10. Up. And do not jerk your body up. It's not momentum. Nine. Low up. Eight. Low up. Seven. Up. Six. Up. Five. Up. Four. Three. Two. One, here's where we use the sliders and your towel. Now, you don't have to, I'll show you modifications, you don't have to be using the sliders, they add a huge bonus, but you don't have to, okay? Get my stuff out of the way, right? So, I'm on my side, I'm going to peel back my yoga mat so I have access to my slick floor. I am going to put this towel right underneath my hip, it might find its way to the curve of my waist, depending on what I need. I'm in a mermaid, knees tucked position, I like to call that a mermaid. And I'm going to start off with a modified boot. I just extend down and pull up. And I'm not pushing with my arm, I'm pulling up to the sky with my left handle right there. <laughs> you know it is. Okay, I'm trying to keep these legs on the floor. And they always kind of want to pop up for a moment. I'm right about here, I guess. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? <laughs> now, you want something a little more? I'm going to tuck my knees a little more in line with my hips. And I'm going to extend out both leg and arm and pull up. My knee, this knee, is to the ceiling. We go four, up, three, up, two, up. And again, I'm trying to keep this knee on the floor. It has a tendency to want to kind of rise up and push down. We did one, right? <laughs> okay. I'm teasing you a little bit. Okay, we go to the other side. So everything flips over. I check my mat a little bit. I get this under my hip. Mermaid pose. How are we doing? Doing okay? <laughs> I think you guys are doing amazing. 7.30, whatever time it is for you on a Saturday morning. Here we go. Here and up. Remember, that's your option. And up. Try not to put any pressure on your shoulder. You don't want to do that anyway. Okay? Here comes the second option. We go out and in. Eight and in. Knee up to the ceiling. Open it up. Go five more. Two. One. All right. Let's hit prone before we lose the hour. We're going to go over. We go over, right? No big deal. You've got plenty of time. That's what people keep telling me. <laughs> Whenever the pandemic shut everything down and sent me home, people get so mad at plenty of time. I'm still waiting to find it, but <laughs> today I'm going to hopefully, hopefully, hang new lighting in my bathroom. I say hopefully because we're still waiting for some paint to dry. Okay, sorry, grab my glides. So please share what you're doing today. Beautiful day. It doesn't matter if you do nothing at all. Okay, I am on my yoga mat on the floor. And we're just going to start with some chest raises. Some people call this a superman, okay? But, so I'm going to bring you up and down. Up, and I want you to make sure your legs are on the floor the whole time. Down. And when you raise up, 
it's more about extending, okay? Don't think about crunching and concentrating that small erect, but extending through. Now, if you want to add a little more, we're going to go here and back. Wait, did I get that right? You can go either way, honestly. <laughs> this feels more natural to me, so I'm going to stick with this. And you can stay right here. Now, if you need a little modification still, place your hands on the floor and lift up and lower, but don't use your hands to lift up, okay? So I won't see you under like this. It's obviously a cheat, okay? <laughs> so you've got lots of options. Stay with one or in more. Let's go. Eight, seven, and six. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Five, four, three, two, one. Cat cow, real quick. That you are prone position. And we're going to do the bottom half. Front half stays on the floor. You can fold your hands and put your forehead on your hands if you want. But we are going to lift those legs and lower. Lift and lower. Now, this move initiates from the hips. So I don't want to see any kind of bend in the knee. I mean, your knees are slightly bended, but the move does not initiate from the knee. And hopefully that makes sense. Up. I'm trying to get my thighs off the floor. Now, once you turn your feet, you can see the bottom of my feet are facing the ceiling. I'm going to turn them so they face each other, or I'm going to try to get them to face each other. So we're going to do a turnout position, and I'm not going to worry if they're not completely facing each other. Remember, when we turn our toes out, that move happens from the hip. So I turn my hip, and the result is my feet look like they're turned out. Do not just turn from your knee. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, child's pose. You made it all the way to the stretch. Good job. I'm gonna show you a really cool new stretch today. So do not leave. Hang with me. You're going to lose this one. I pretend to see the same thing. I don't know, but you are gonna love this one. Give me some cat cow with those prone exercises. I really need that. Okay, so what you need for this really cool new stretch is your top and yourself <laughs> and the floor because you're going to be laying down. Who doesn't love a good laying down stretch? Okay. So, what I'm going to do, and I can play with the thickness of my towel, I'm going to help, but I'm going to bridge myself up and just slide my towel under my right cheek, all right? You know what I'm talking about? Just the right part of your hip. All right? So, get that settled. So, now you're kind of popped one hip higher than the other, okay? So, that makes you stretch a little bit. We're going to get deep, deeper into it. Take your right hand, the same side, as the hip that's popped, and extend that arm over your head. I'm gonna grab my chair, it's right there anyway. Don't let me reach a little farther. Now, take that right foot, again, same side as the popped hip, and extend your leg straight. And this is where the magic happens. You really feel that muscle, I wanna say it's your early psoas, stretch a little more up and over the towel, hold it and breathe, relax. Now, go ahead and straighten the last leg. It'll be all extended out. I only stretched my right arm up over my head. We'll get to the left one, don't worry. Hold that, a little longer. Okay, now, I want you to take your towel off or away from your hip. Put both hips on the ground. And just for a moment, for me, will you just 
analyze and feel your body. How does that one hip feel in comparison to the other, right? Should feel a little different, should feel a little stretched out. Okay, so let's bridge up, knees bent. Put that towel under your other hip, nice and lifted, so that when we straighten that leg, we will feel it. Extend the left arm. Everything's happening on the same side. Left hip is left hip is popped. Left arm is extended. I see my chair, but I can't feel it. <laughs> there it is. Okay. And then the left leg. Let that hang out there for a second. Enjoy the stretch. Deep breaths. You can feel so good about yourself. You made it. I didn't think I was going to make it, to be honest, because it's just so warm here already, but I'm good. I'm going to get my water close by. We're going to cool off the water. Go ahead and extend that second and last leg. Down it goes. All right, come up, towel away from your body. Let's go into a couple traditional stretches before I let you go. Let's come up, place our feet in front of us. And if you have a better way to get into this, I'm not opposed to that. I just want you to see where I'm coming from. And I'm going to come up onto my feet. And stretch out a little through my feet, my ankles, rock a little bit. Now, you can sit and flex some point and probably get the same result. That's fine, too. It's different options so we don't get bored. I'm even going to come on to my knees and stretch a little bit. I'm working down my back, right? All right, so up we go. I want you to go into downward dog position. You don't have to turn around like I am. I'm just trying to give you a side view. Now, on our downward dog, make sure we push our ears back into our arms. So if you need to walk out, make sure you turn the feet or not. Paddle out those feet. All right, walk it in, walk it in, hang over. Don't come up yet. Okay. If you want to have your feet close together, that's awesome. You can our, our pipe stretches. All right, here we go. One vertebrae at a time. Let's come up nice and slow. Now, if you're dizzy when you hit the top, I always tell you, you can do a couple of jumping jacks, do a bit of jog, it'll work that right out, okay? Or take a moment and sit down. No problems there. Okay. But eventually, you got to get up. I would say eventually, you have to get up. So we take that arm, we run across. This shoulder is dropped, not up around our chin. Relax. You don't need to pull the heck out of your arm. You just need to feel a little soft stretch there, okay? Okay, up and across. Woo. Go up and grab that elbow. And again, you don't need to hyperextend and pull. I mean, if you need to, because you're so flexible and that's the only way you feel a stretch, you just go right up. But make sure that your back is not flaring here. Okay, because we're not trying to pain our lower back at the same time we're stretching our arms. I hope we're not. Ooh, my legs are white. We're going to stay that way all summer, folks. Get ready. I used to try and use, like, um, you know, that tanner stuff, tanning lotion. I always call it tan in a bottle. But I just... I have such bad eczema since living in Utah. I can't even use that stuff anymore. So, the only time you're going to tan is right before dance competition. I think that's really partly why I dance, because I tell myself it's necessary. It's fun, too, but it's totally necessary. Okay, so, 
before we go, I am going to give Mindy, my little friend out there, a treat. I'm going to show her I've been working on my back bend, so hopefully I won't fall on my act. So you don't have to hang out for this, but just to provide evidence that I've been working on my tumbling skills, some of them. At home during this, I'm going to just go right into my back pin, and that will also mean I'm done for today, and I don't have to do it again. <laughs> Bonus! All right, so which way should we do it? Should we do it towards the camera? I've got to have something to spot, or I'm going to fall on my, like I said, my duty. So, three, two, one, here we go. All right, I hope you can see that, Mindy. It might look like my head is cut off, but, you know. Baker's gambit changers. <laughs> All right, so do something fun today, whether it's a back bend or hosing off because you're super hot or painting your half bathroom or oh, installing light. Those all sound really fun, right? <laughs> okay, anyway, stay again, stay safe out there, stay hydrated. And the goal is to see you again next Saturday, 7.30, Mountain Standard Time. And until then, peace out.